Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about appreciating contrast. A contrast is usually the stuff that happens that you think is bad or wrong or negative that you don't want, you don't like, you push against it, you think it's wrong. And it can serve a purpose in your life if you learn how to step back from it and observe it and go, hmm, okay, I don't want that. What do I want? But also just the experience in and of itself can help you appreciate the contrast to whatever's going on. So I'm going to share with you a little experience that happened to me over the holidays that really made me appreciate the contrast big time. So during the holidays, there were a couple days where my mom got to spend the day in bed, which she loves to do. She loves to luxuriate, but she's not walking as much between the bedroom and the living room. But on these particular days, it was just easier for me because I had so much to do to, to let her stay in bed. And after Christmas, uh, she actually had an incident where I was trying to shower her. And every once in a while, she kind of goes into the state where she starts to pass out and she might start to vomit. And um, it doesn't happen very often. And I usually know how to prevent it from happening. But this one particular day, right after Christmas, it happened. And thank God my neighbor was available to come over and help me because I, I just I can handle her by myself. It was just it was so difficult and it was a really stressful experience and a stressful day for both of us. And so whenever an incident like that happens, I let her stay in bed because she kind of needs to rest and recuperate from the whole thing. And boy, so do I, <laughs> but this was not long after Christmas when she'd already spent a day in bed. So the following day, she was really weak. Her legs were really weak. She couldn't stand up fully. She couldn't support herself. She was having trouble walking from point A to point B. And I kind of had to support her, like just to get her from her bed to her commode, which is just a couple of steps away. I practically had to carry her. And I was scared because every time something like this happens, I think, oh my God, is this the new norm? Am I going to be able to do this by myself? Because, you know, I... My intention is to take care of her by myself in her house for the rest of her life. So she never has to go live in a home and all of that. There are a whole other load of factors involved there. But then I promised my daddy that I would do it. He asked me to take care of her when he was dying. And so I, I take that very seriously. But I have to look at the reality of it. If something changes and I can't do it by myself, I got to figure out something else. So I was very nervous because this the whole day she was really having a hard time and I was so physically exhausted by the end of the day because I had to do so much lifting and carrying and maneuvering of her and I was getting frustrated with her which I don't like to do but you know every once in a while I, I reach a breaking point where I just you know I, it, since the holidays were on a weekend again I had no break from taking care of her so I had no time to rest and I was tired on top of it and uh, I just I didn't know what was going to be happening. So the next day I decided to kick up her exercise routine. I'd been a little bit lax on it because she'd been fine. So I got her back into more exercising than she'd been doing before. And you know what? By the end of the day, she was pretty much back to normal. And now she is very strong again. She's got her balance. She's got her strength in her legs. Whew. And you know, it's a good thing to remember that no matter how old you are, you can always build up your strength. You can build up your muscle strength and regain that if it's deteriorated a little bit. And, you know, people think that someone's older and they've just declined, or if you feel like you're older and you've just declined, you can always build up that strength again, just little by little. So keep that in mind. That's all other topic. But I cannot tell you how relieved I was because I was like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do if she's this weak all the time. I didn't know if my caregiver on the weekends would be able to take care of her if she was that weak too. I mean, I'm sure she'd be able to figure it out because she's a professional. But I oh, I was just relieved. <laughs> and it made me appreciate the way things are so much more because I had that contrast of those couple of days where she was just weak and out of it and really made me scared. So when she got back to normal, I was like, hallelujah. <laughs> I was so happy. So it's kind of like the it's a wonderful life thing where, you know, you're down or you're depressed. Or you think your life sucks and you don't think anything's working out for you. You don't think anybody loves you. You think it's all going to be going downhill, but then something happens to give you a new perspective. And if you haven't seen it's a wonderful life, please stop this immediately. Go rent it and watch it right now. <laughs> you haven't, I can't believe you've never seen it. My favorite movie of all time. Actually, 
for a minute worked for Republic Pictures that owned it. So I had a whole bunch of copies of it. It was awesome. But anyways, besides the point. So if you don't know the story, this man, George Bailey, has pretty much sacrificed everything he's wanted his whole life to benefit other people. And he reaches a breaking point where he's depressed and suicidal. And uh, this angel comes along and shows him what life would be like for everyone else if he'd never been born. And it changes his perspective. <laughs> it shows him the contrast for sure. So he goes back with a completely new appreciation for his life, even with all the troubles. And they all end up working out in the end because he finds out that he is loved and cared for and people are there for him. So same situation, new perspective. So that's pretty much what contrast does. It can give you a new perspective if you allow it to. If you don't get sucked into, oh, I hate this and this sucks. Why is this this way? You're just going to get stuck in that negative energy. And, you know, we've been talking about stop effing around with that negative energy. So if that comes up for you, I want you to take a step back and go, okay, let me look at if it's something that you've created or maybe it's just the way you're looking at something, try to look at it from a different perspective and think about what do I want and what positive is in this situation for me. And if nothing else, if there isn't anything positive, at least it will give you a jumping board to focus on what you do want in the situation. So always remember if something comes up like that, because I think we all get like that. I think there's that little kid in us that wants to stop our feet and go, I don't want this. I don't like this. <laughs> and you want something different. You want somebody like your parents to come in and fix it and make it all better. And so for some people that happens as adults, but <laughs> Most people, you got to figure it out on your own, which means focus on what you do want. Look at that thing that you don't want, you don't like, you think is bad, you think is negative, and then look at the opposite. What do you want? What do you want to attract? How do you want it to be? And then figure out how that can be true for you. And sometimes it just takes a change and a shift in perception. So it might be as simple as that, or you might need to sh change your energy and what you're focusing on, you might need to take some physical steps to change something. You know, like here's a, here's an example of the physical. Oh, I don't like my body. I'm out of shape. Okay. Well, clean up your eating habits and start moving. <laughs> I don't like to say diet and exercise. I think that turns everybody off. I think that's a lot of contrast. Diet, exercise, contrast. Who loves those words? I don't think anybody does, but clean up your eating, move your body. You can do those in a way that both feel good to you. And I, and I've done that. So I, I, know that it's possible and you can do it too. It doesn't have to be torturous. Any of this positive change does not have to be torturous or difficult. It can be easy. So decide that it's going to be easy when you step back and go, hmm, I don't like that. What do I want? Now start focusing on what you do want and figuring out how you can make it better for yourself, either by your thought process or taking some action and make sure it's inspired action that feels good to you. Make sure it feels good feels good. has to feel good. Don't go off into another negative direction thinking that you're going to make a positive change. So, you know, that the, the diet thing is a good example. You know, if you don't feel good about your body. You think, oh, I have to deprive myself and kill myself at the gym. Okay. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> That's more contrast. So what would feel good? I'm going to go back to what I said, clean up your diet and move your body, make sure it feels good. So you can change anything. Once you notice the contrast, so just when it comes up, remember that it's empowering you to make some positive changes and either to get clear about what you want and start focusing on that or to take some action steps to make it better. But you're never stuck in the contrast. It's just contrast. It's not good or bad. It's just contrast. That's all it is. So there's this and there's that. If you don't like this, focus on that. Simple, right? <laughs> depending on what it is, maybe not so simple, but I hope that this gives you the inspiration and, and a little bit of guidance to focus more on what you want and get, take the attention off of what you don't want. That's all it is. So I want to thank you for focusing your attention here. Once again with me, I so appreciate you being here every week. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you think this would help somebody share with your family and friends. And if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tannamarshall.com. Get on the mailing list. There's a free gift for you there. And you'll get a little note from me every Friday that only goes out to my list and you'll get these videos before anyone else sees them. So with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend. Notice the contrast and just know that it's just contrast. It's this or that. If you don't like this, focus on that. You always have the power to make the change. That's why contrast is there to help you get more clear and redefine what you want. 
all it is. So it's going to help you get what you want. So it could be a good thing. So take that with you this weekend. I'll see you next.